Howdy folks, I'm out here in the workshop with the toy piano. And if you notice, oh, there's some additions here. Granted, I know the top's off, guys. I'll talk about that in a second. But I did some work on it. Remember this thing, I unboxed this a little while ago and I had mentioned that I was gonna use it as a starting point for something else. Well, last night I got a wild hair and I converted it into an electric toy piano. And I'm gonna tell you what I did here. Um, I managed to shoot some photos along the way, but I didn't really shoot video because I was just kind of prototyping. And then before I know it, an electric piano. So what I did is I took it apart, guys, and I took the tine bar out, and I had done that in, a, in an earlier video as well um, where I just showed you what was inside of it. So I took the tine bar out, and then across the back here, I put five piezo elements or contact microphones, whatever you want to call them. I put five of them across here and just hot glued them in place, equally spaced across the back here, on the inside, of course, but across the back here. And then um, these are just standard piezo discs. So then... I took a wire uh, for, for the positive and the negative, and I just stripped off little sections of the wire so I could just use one wire going across all five. And I ran two wires, and you can just kind of see them. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, sorry, it's gonna clink a little bit. Just right there, you can just kind of see the wire coming around from the elements there and going towards the front panel, that gray and black pair of wires there right here. So anyway, so I did that. Uh, and then I prototyped it up to make sure it was gonna work and it did and I made sure all five elements were working um, And like I said, I just kind of hot glued them in place now one note guys If you hot glue that element in place and then when you solder you want to be quick with your solder Because it's gonna heat up the element and that's gonna heat up the hot glue again And then it could move on you. So just be if you're gonna do something like this. Just be real quick um, You know make sure you're you, you got practice, but um, so I got the elements wired up. So I was good there and then I thought, okay, I need to put a jack somewhere. So as you can see, I put a jack over here. Uh, but I also wanted to see if I could put a volume knob on it. Well, I started looking through my parts box and you know I've always got potentiometers and jacks and all that kind of stuff. And if you guys remember, a little while back, I did that Muslati guitar kit that I made that was like a Melody Maker clone. And it came with all the parts. And as you probably remember, if you saw the video, I didn't use all, uh, barely any of the parts. So all the wiring I had just thrown in my parts box. So that's what I use. This is the jack and the potentiometers and capacitor and all of that from that kit. So that's what I used. And uh, I think you can just kind of see it there. You can see the, there we'll get the hammers out of the way. You can see the tone pot and the volume pot there. And then the jack over here. So that's what happens. So we go the five contact mics across the back that come around to the volume and tone pot there, which are mounted on the front panel, and then around to the jack on the side. It keeps everything out of the way. Now, I knew I had to keep all the wiring around the outside because the hammers need room to activate, right? You can kind of see them fall in there. So the hammers need room to activate. So there's a little bit of trick to that, but I managed to do it okay and keep everything out of the way. And uh, when I got done with it, I put some gold knobs on there to kind of match the, the gold writing of the logo there. And uh, that's what we got. Let me grab the top here. I don't have this screwed on yet. I'll do that in a second. But once we put the top on it, you can see it, all, it looks like it came that way. I mean, you've got the knobs there on the front for volume and tone. You got the jack on the side. And it doesn't really, you know, you do it. <laughs> it looks like it came that way. So anyway, guys. Um, I got her wired up, got her, it's basically finished at this point. I just need to put the four screws in it for the top so the top doesn't rattle on us. And let's go plug it in and do some sound samples.